We are all familiar with names like Ted Bundy, Osama Bin Laden, Adolf Hitler, and other men who have done evil and killed a lot of people. However, other men in Africa might have done worse than these ones that we know. In this video, we will take a look at African leaders who committed many atrocities against the human race and have been considered some of the evilest people in Africa's history. 1. Idi Amin Dada also known as the Butcher of Uganda, Kijambiya or Black Hitler, Idi Amin Dada Umi was a Ugandan dictator and warlord who served as the country's third president. Since he did not authorize the writing of an official account of his life, his date of birth is not known. However, he was said to have been born between 1923 and 1928. He overthrew the Ugandan president Milton Obote via a military coup in 1971 while he was attending a Commonwealth summit in Singapore. During his reign as president of Uganda, Idi Amin earned the nickname Butcher of Uganda due to his brutality. It is believed that no fewer than 300,000 people, including political rivals, farmers, religious leaders, and even children, lost their lives at the time. Additionally, this Ugandan president was accused of cannibalism. It was said that he kept the bodies of his victims in a refrigerator from which he feasted. Similarly, he had an underground prison with a torture chamber where he ousted his victims. This Ugandan president woke up one morning and decided he did not want any Asians in his country anymore. So he gave them an ultimatum of 90 days to leave the country or face his wrath. Out of fear, these Asians left everything they had, which his men took. Idi Amin was also known for his mood swings. He killed a lot of people, especially his employees. It was said that one of his employees found out about his death on the radio after his principal decided to kill him. Even his wives were not exempted from his killing spree. He killed his fourth wife one year after their divorce for being disloyal to him. She was mutilated while she was four months pregnant with another man's child. As president, his official title was His Excellency President for Life Field Marshal Al Haji Dr. Idi Amin Dada, VC, DSO, MC, Lord of all the beasts of the earth and fishes of the sea, and conqueror of the British Empire in Africa in general and Uganda in particular. Idi Amin had six wives and over 40 children. He was ousted in 1978 and fled to Saudi Arabia, where he died of multiple organ failures in 2003. 2. Jean Bedel Bokassa. Born on 22nd February 1921, this evil African leader was nicknamed the Butcher of Bangui. He became the president of the Central African Republic on January 1st, 1966. His regime was supported by the French military and economic aid. Bokassa declared himself president for life in 1972 and began to kill anyone who opposed him. This African leader went on to declare his country as an empire and renamed it as Central African Empire. His office became the office of the emperor and himself Emperor Bokassa I. His reign in the Central Africa Republic was characterized by brutality. He ordered all school children to purchase uniforms that were only made by the factory his wife owned. This led to a protest by school children and in return, Bukasa ordered the arrest, imprisonment and killing of the protesters. Over 100 children were killed. This evil leader was also a cannibal who ate the body of the victims of his brutality. Bodies were discovered in his freezers shortly after he was overthrown as emperor. Some of the bodies, including that of children, were disemboweled and mutilated. Bukasa ordered that thieves should lose an ear after the first two offenses and a hand for the third. He also supervised the torture of his victims and fed them to lions and crocodiles. He was overthrown in 1979 and went into exile in France. Subsequently, in the 1980s, his children were arrested for shoplifting food. The overthrown president returned to the Central African Republic in 1986, where he was tried and convicted of murder, cannibalism, assault, and treason, among other crimes. He was sentenced to life imprisonment in solitary confinement. His sentence was then reduced to 20 years, from which he was pardoned in 1993. Bukasa died at the age of 75 from a heart attack in 1996. 3. Jean Kabanda 
The Rwandan genocide is infamous for the deaths of over 800,000 people. But what many do not know is who took responsibility for these deaths. Jean Kambanda is the only Rwandan leader to plead guilty for the massacre that lasted between April and July 1994. He was born on October 19, 1955 in Huye, Rwanda. Jean became the Prime Minister of Rwanda in 1994 and it was during his tenure that the infamous Rwanda genocide occurred. The Rwandan Prime Minister was arrested and charged to International Criminal Tribunal where he was sentenced to life imprisonment for genocide, agreement to commit genocide, incitement to genocide, aiding and abating genocide, failing to prevent genocide, and two counts of crimes against humanity. In an appeal, he said though he confessed to being responsible, he was not guilty, and his confession was due to poor counsel. He was sentenced to life imprisonment in 1998. 4. Muammar Gaddafi This Libyan revolutionary, politician, and former president was born in 1942. He ruled Libya between 1969 and 2011. During this time, the Libyan economy blossomed. He demanded that the oil companies in Libya pay a bigger share of their revenue to the country. Gaddafi is famous for having female bodyguards. Despite the increase he brought to his country, he was a brutal leader, which earned him the nickname Mad Dog of the Middle East. He was accused of being the brain behind the bombing of the West Berlin Dance Club that killed a lot of people. The former Libyan leader was also accused of sex crimes. It was said that he raped hundreds of teenagers in dungeons that were built specifically for that purpose. These sex dungeons were equipped with medical gadgets for examination for sexually transmitted diseases. He was charged with two counts of crimes against humanity but was terminated in November 2011 after he was shot and killed by a rebel group. 5. Charles Taylor Taylor was born in a small town near Monrovia, the capital of Liberia, on January 28, 1948. He became the president of Liberia in 1997 until his resignation in 2003. He became one of the most powerful warlords in Africa's history after the first Liberian civil war. Subsequently, he was in charge of the National Patriotic Front of Liberia, a revolting group that killed more than 200,000 Liberians. Charles Taylor was accused of aiding the Revolutionary United Front with weapon sales in exchange for blood diamonds, which led to the death of over 50,000 people. Other crimes committed by this African leader included murder, mutilation, rape, and the conscription of children into the army. Due to a lot of pressure from the international community, Charles Taylor was sentenced to 50 years imprisonment for different crimes, including war crimes he committed while he was president. 6. Ahmed Seko Tori This African leader was born on January 9, 1922, in French Guinea. He became the first president of the Independent Republic of Guinea in October 1958, after serving in many unions in the country. His tenure was characterized by human rights oppression and brutality. The fear of his wrath led a lot of indigents to flee the country in fear of being arrested and kept in prison camps. He executed anyone who dared oppose his government. In 1958, he ordered the execution of 58 people for their involvement in an unsuccessful coup against his government. Toure died in March 1984 in Cleveland while undergoing treatment for cardiac issues. 7. Francisco Macias Nguema Born on January 1, 1924, Francisco Nguema is considered one of the most brutal and evil dictators in Africa's history. He came to office as president of Equatorial Guinea in 1968. Nguema was the first president of the country following its independence. He consolidated power by establishing an extreme cult system. He held anti-European speeches and killed whoever he perceived was against him, including his cabinet members and senior officials. Nguema once ordered the killing of 186 suspected dissidents in the National Museum while playing Mary Hopkins' song, Those Were the Days. 150 of them were shot and hanged, while the remaining 36 were made to dig their graves, buried up to their necks, and eaten alive by red ants. Nguema was rumored to have had a mental illness which was partly responsible for his actions. Additionally, he was said to be an abuser of drugs and other illicit substances. 
This evil leader once ordered the killing of an entire village because of one person he thought was opposing his government. Male prisoners were beaten to death with wooden clubs, while females were subjected to sexual abuse, sometimes in the presence of their husbands. Ungwema was executed by firing squad in September 1979 after his nephew Todoro Ungwema came to power via coup. The Equator Guinean soldiers refused to shoot him after he promised that his ghost will come back and take revenge on those who killed him. 8. Joseph Raukoni It seems as though Uganda has had its fair share of evil leaders in the past. This Ugandan leader is one of the evilest men in history. He was born in 1961 and rose to become the founder and leader of the Lord's Resistance Army, a religious group that has been designated a terrorist group by the United Nations Peacekeepers and the European Union, among other international organizations. Through this organization, Kony has been involved with the conscriptions of minors into the army and has been responsible for the deaths of over 10,000 and the abduction of at least 60,000 children. Other crimes committed by this evil man include sexual abuse and other crimes against humanity. He is also responsible for the displacement of over 2 million people. Kony describes himself as a freedom fighter fighting for the Christian faith in Uganda, but his actions seem far from it. He is currently one of the most wanted African militants and is one of the most notorious warlords. He is said to have up to 60 wives and 42 children. 9. Joshua Milton Mbai This African warlord is also called General Bot Naked. He was famous for going into battle wearing nothing except shoes and magic charms. But what was the logic behind that? It was revealed that at the age of 11, he was initiated as a high priest after being handed over to the elders at the age of 7. Bly, he believed that going to battle naked made him immune to bullets. During wars, the warlord and his troop perpetrated all kinds of atrocities, including cannibalism and human sacrifices. He claimed that he received the vision from the devil who told him he would become a great warrior and that by committing these atrocities, his powers would increase. General Bod Naked revealed that sometimes he would enter the water where children were playing, grab one, and break his or her neck. Other times, he would cause accidents. In 1996, Blayi claimed he saw Jesus Christ who asked him to stop being a slave. With that, he converted to Christianity and became a preacher of the gospel. He confessed the murders of at least 20,000 people after his conversion at the Liberian Truth and Reconciliation Commission. 10. Bosco Tanganda this Rwandan warlord and criminal was a former military chief of staff. He was born on November 5, 1973. He joined the Patriotic Forces for the Liberation of Congo, a military wing of the Union of Congolese Patriots, where he became its chief of military operations. Ntanganda was involved in countless massacres, conscripting minors into the military and other crimes against humanity. Taganda told the underage soldiers, When you are a soldier, you get a woman for free. Everything is free. In 2006, he was charged with war crimes of enlisting children below the age of 15 and using them to participate in hostilities between 2002 and 2003. A warrant for his arrest was issued. However, the court ruled that the circumstances has changed and unsealed the warrant. In March 2013, the Rwandan warlord handed himself to the U.S. Embassy in Rwanda and requested that his case should be transferred to the International Criminal Court in The Hague. He pleaded not guilty to the 18-count charge leveled against him, including rape, murder, and sexual slavery. Subsequently, he was convicted of all crimes and sentenced to 30 years imprisonment in 2019, the longest prison sentence by the ICC. It was also ruled that his victims should be compensated with $30 million, the highest amount ever awarded. Indeed, these men have committed hideous crimes against humanity. Do you know any others? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and check out our other videos.